everyone, it's Lizzie from Lizzie's World of Gems, and I got another post review. Can you believe that, too? No, just joking, because the other one was from a long time ago. But let's talk about this Ever Moment. This is from Ever Moment. It is poured glue. It is a 45 by 60. It is a sloth. It's an image that you see all over, you know, those cheap sites or whatever. But this one had... 76 colors and uh it's square it turned out amazing um flowers kind of look pixelated to me but through the camera it's gonna not, not look so pixelated for you guys um i really really enjoyed doing this it was super super confetti heavy except for these parts here but there was a little bit of confetti here the only downfall i have with ever moment is they use a black grid on their canvas now i wish i had a spot where you could see but like here you can kind of see i don't know if you can see on the camera but some spots where the light colors are you can see the black grid underneath now from far away you can't see that but me close up I can see it in it it a little bit bothers me but I was like that with the custom I did as well from ever moment <coughs> excuse me and I mentioned it I wrote her a message and I messaged to her that I was kind of disappointed about the grid like you guys need to get rid of the grid I don't know why they put the grid on like I can understand why they're doing the program but after they have it all done couldn't they remove the grid I don't know it's just a thought because I know a lot of diamond painting companies don't have the grid anymore it's like a colored kind of grid where the checkers are but I don't know. That's the only downfall of every moment that I have. Any complaint of every moment I have is that they use the grid. And they don't put the size of your painting on their canvas anymore, which is kind of annoying. So I had to measure it on a previous video that I tried to film, but then I got a phone call and it ruined the it ruined the video, so I had to um do it back. But, you know, their canvases now are lint soft, scallop edges. It's all like the premium. But the only thing is, there was a lot of glue, which I found very odd for a poor glue that came all the way out to here. That is why I have tape all the way around because the glue went over really, really far. And for a poured glue, I found that very odd that's why I'm starting to think that it's mounted adhesive, but I don't know for sure. They say it's poor glue. So I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, but I find that very odd because all the poor glue I have maybe has a little bit, like a little bit over, like maybe like, you know, like right here, but this was all the way down here. That is why I had to put the tape around and of course I ran out of tape so I had to use a different type of tape there because I wanted to use these little bunny rabbits but I didn't have enough bunny rabbits when you get um, washi tape from you know those cheap stores they don't give you very much in a roll so but it turned out really really cute a lot of confetti in the sloth himself and that is why the detail of the sloth is so good um i know i've seen this image done smaller size and it looks very pixelated it still kind of looks a little bit blurry here and here to me over here is like the best one but you know Excuse me, I still have a bit of a cough and now the bird wants to talk. I don't know. 
I like it. It turned out good. I had plenty of drills left over. I didn't run out of any drills. It is a square. I don't know how much more I have to tell you about it other than I really enjoyed it. And even though it was a lot of confetti, I did work this up pretty fast. I can't remember the day I started this. See if I can grab my book and see in my book. Um, the day I started this was oh, right here. I started it June 11th. So I started it June 11th and I finished, um, what's today? I finished it last night, so July 18th. So a little bit over a month with all the ones that I've been doing. July 19th, 2023. And I still got it right here. No, I did write the end date. So I ended this one on June 15th and I only did the post review now so it's been a while since I finished that one so how many have I actually done since the beginning I started in the beginning of this year one two three four five only five Plus the ones I finished at the end of December, which probably brings me up to seven. I've only done seven paintings this year. Oh, plus that custom. Oh, I forgot this one. And I finished this one. And I can't remember when I finished this one. I think it was... I have to look at the video and see when I posted that video. So I can't remember when I finished the cat. So how many now? One, two, three, four, five, six, six, seven, eight. Probably about eight I finished this year. But two of them were from the previous year that I don't have in here. Or maybe it, it was even more. I finished everything that was hanging up. So now I'm all caught up again because I finished the sloth. This one is done, but I can't remember the date. I have to look it up. This one was really fast. I'm thinking... I'm thinking I finished this at the end of June. So this one didn't take me long at all, but it was only... It doesn't... Uh, 50 by... A 30 by 50. So I'm going to start my new one here. I got a new one that I'm going to put there. And I really like this book because it keeps track of everything I've done this year. I just started using it this year. You can buy this on Amazon. It is from Jennifer Roberts, which is DP Addiction Adventures on YouTube. If you want to look up this book, it's Diamond Painting Guide and Logbook. And I started using the logbook this year, even though I've had the book for a little bit. And there's lots of pages, so I can continue on using this probably for a couple more years, the way I'm going. <laughs> but anyway, um, that is it. The bird is talking, so I'll let you guys all go. I hope you enjoy this post review of my sloth. I'll let you look at it. One more time, lots of colors left over, didn't run out of anything, super, super cute. You know, it was my mascot there for a little bit. So that is why this was gifted to me from a subscriber and I really enjoyed doing it. Um, Till next time, take care everyone. Bye. Well, folks, that's it for today's video. If you liked it, please give me a thumbs up. And if you like, please subscribe to my channel. I be super tickle pink. And remember to hit that notification bell and it will remind you whenever I load up a video.
And till next time, take care everyone. Bye.